What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of At The Pump. This is Patrick and uncomfortably freaking close to me is Brian. Hey guys, how's it going? Dude, did you fart? Oh man. Oh my god! How much protein do you have? Dude, too much today. I'm sorry. <laughs> god. All right, sorry, we're back. As you all know, new Ford Bronco released right now. We're gonna get right into it, not waste any time. We're gonna watch it with you guys. I'm stoked. Yeah, Thank let's see this bad boy. We haven't seen any Broncos since OJ ripped it on that highway patrol <laughs> in California. But you have to get out there. And About 30 forward. years in the making. Is that the old Bronco in there? Yeah. Look for it. You need something that's just as wild as the wild. Oh, I hear it. Oh, that's a new one. Oh, Whoa, dang. I like the lights. You need something that can look adventure in okay. the eye and give it a firm handshake. Something built with the toughness of an F-Series and the spirit of a Mustang. Something that's not happy until it takes you through whatever creek or snow or mud or mountain all right. trail or all right. logging road or landmark with death in its name. They're showing a couple different models. Yeah. You need a Bronco. As wild as wild. I like the front end. Those lights look solid. There's a teaser photo. All right, under 10 seconds. Here's all of Ford's attorneys. Right. Making sure everything's good. On August 11th, 1965, Ford Motor Company introduced the world to the Ford There's Bronco. the old two-door one. I think it's sick, though. Yeah, classic. America's first SUV. Bronco. America's Players first SUV, I didn't know that. A vehicle that reshaped the 4x4 landscape forever. And today, it's going to do it again. Oh, that was good with the roof off like that. This time, Dude, that two-door looks wow. so good. It's a whole family. I, I don't know about the sport, but we'll see. A little smaller, yeah. Introducing Lower to the, the ground. ground. That, that looks great oh with the doors God. on, dude. Built wow. to take on the toughest terrain Hold on. you can find. Take my money. New Bronco Ford. Take my money. Built to give you the most open That looks really good. And the Bronco Sport. Built to truly reconnect with the great outdoors. Introducing the Bronco family. Very Dude, that two-door is, is sick. I like yeah. the four-door too. I like all the doors Americans off with the roof exposed the and everything. That looks Built pretty badass. Than just the vehicles themselves. Built Dude, the that two doors is where it's at, though. Spirit of a Mustang. Built to be right? the future of off roading. A family of vehicles that are all built wild. You see there's Sea Biscuit? Yeah. And by built you wild. You hear the EcoBoost, that's obviously what they're using. You need to go. That looks that's good. The, kind of the tires are big. Fills there. out the wheel well. Looks like it's ready because to crawl. It went built wild extreme durability testing. We took the built Ford Tough testing platform and then pushed it into the toughest terrains across the United States. And to get through that rigorous testing, Man. you need to be able to handle it. You need to have capability, durability, and the most innovative designs. So we gave it just that. We gave every Bronco vehicle 4x4 standard. Go, go modes. Go. That's, That's cool. Say that. And the two door and four Dude, that two door looks great with the doors off. Maximum I think the two doors got my vote. That's you're the winner. On the wild. Bronco rewrites the record books with an available best in class maximum breakover angle, departure Whoa. angle, and crawl ratio. And available 35 inch tires on 35s, dude. Right out of the factory. No wow. other vehicle in its class can say that. And the Bronco Sport also has an available. Mm, sport's like their entry level. You got to get people in the door, I guess. Allowing for better approach angles and water weighting. 
know what the sport looks like? Tire should work smarter. The sport looks like so we use the a Nissan Xterra and a Discovery Land Rover like yeah. had an affair. Four -door. Yeah. Available front and rear locking differentials front and rear locks, so they can wow. lock the Dana axle. That's cool. Sending traction to four wheels instead of two. And we gave the Bronco Sport an available twin clutch rear drive unit with a rear differential lock feature, hmm. allowing for greater off road. Yeah, I don't know. And for when the wild that two door, though, rough, dude, we gave the Bronco two door and four door an available hydraulic stabilizer bar disconnect system. A what? So as you encounter the tough types of terrains that make the wild fun, like bro, you can flex and crawl Whoa. over any and all obstacles. That is cool. Bronco, you can activate that is really sweet for a standard feature. And it will use smart technology to automatically like reconnect yeah. after you've conquered whatever obstacle you were taking on. And all Broncos come standard with terrain management systems with up to seven available GOAT modes. So whether you're going through Dude, that snow, is hilarious. Or rocks or dirt, or sand, go or over any type of water, terrain. The How about the greatest of all time? At the click of a dial. And that's just the beginning. Because Dude, the two door with the doors capable. off and the roof it's exposed. That lots of power. That's because the winner Bronco right there. Door and four door have an available EcoBoost engine projected to produce over 300 horsepower and 400 pound feet of torque. All right. And with first to market available 10 speed automatic transmission or seven speed manual, you can keep all that horsepower and torque in its power band. I was not expecting a 10 speed. Eight, um, maybe, but that's, and that's awesome. The Sport is targeting unparalleled power with 245 horsepower and 275 pound feet of torque. Plus, Bronco has best in class available suspension travel because the Bronco family has a Haas system. The two and four door go a step further, offering an optional Haas system with Bilstein position sensitive wow. dampers, similar to the trophy trucks that Dude, race that's, at Boston that's and the Ultra Four trucks that race at King of the Hammers. This new Haas suspension system is key to the high performance off road prowess of the Bronco. Using modern independent front suspension to keep you riding smooth at higher speeds than you could with a solid front axle. You can enjoy the great wow, that looks great with the whole roof with doors like that. and a roof oh that God. you can take off Whoa. and store four doors in the vehicle on and the and you can put them in the back. Wow, with max open air experience because there's no beam in the middle to block. Oh, the kind of a one up to the G. This is slap to G. Yeah, you can enjoy the doors off experience without losing sight of. And they put the mirrors on. Yeah, take like the doors off and just eat the sand. Open air whenever and wherever you want because they can be put back on just as quickly and easily. Capability and speed are important, but so is staying connected. So the Bronco family is built- It's got a nice interior, and convenient interior huge screen displays, in the front. Including an available 12 inch screen on Bronco two door. Dude, it's like a MacBook. And an right? eight inch screen on Bronco Sport. I mean, a 2021 model, you gotta have some type of heritage fancy of stuff more up than there. 55 years of off-roading combined with modern technological advancements. Like available trail maps that can be downloaded right to the that's cool. performance yeah. app with off-road navigation that's and really seamlessly sweet. integrated with your Bronco. Trail maps that allow you to not just find a new trail, that's but really cool. all the details of that new trail. And once you can completed it, film it. Share it with whoever that's you That's really sweet. It's like they have almost like a GoPro. The future in the, of off-roading means the car. more visibility. It means seeing everything you need to see. I actually low key like that yellow are a lot. against yeah. at all times. I love the two door. The that looks so good. Available Some about the proportions camera I like. With off road spotter That's views sweet. on Bronco That's really two cool. door and four door. You don't have to have your buddy hop Bronco out and look is right ready here for whatever get over a rock you decide to take on. Because it was built for that. Built with a cargo management system that allows for not just a lot of. I don't know. I personally like the proportions the of the two door better. Of cargo space. Some about that. Out with class in the back exclusive that hidden storage yeah. under the second row, and class exclusive available Molly oh, straps on the back of the seats, just for a little extra gear. And an available slide out table to prep all that gear before heading That's on solid. your next big adventure. Plus, more than 200 factory-backed aftermarket accessories on Bronco. Bro, look at that door. It's like a Senna. Bronco Sport. And those Rooftop tent. That's sweet. Up. 
Not to mention available accessories that are orderable from the factory. Like rock That's probably where the price is going to jump up, though, if you start adding on all these Bronco Sport and roof accessories. Yeah, but once you start adding, like, you know, Haas and all this other stuff, the price is going to go up. For it's all just the see things that, that make the wild worth getting back Not to. Not sold on the With the built sport, wild capability to take on any it. type of yeah. terrain, the speed to take you over more of it, and the tools to take on adventures while you're there. You need a Bronco. The all new Bronco. Dude, the two door. That's getting my vibe there. Is what you're looking for. Dude, that's insane. Two door Bronco. Is that it? That's it. Commercial? 11 minutes? They did a nice commercial. I thought we were going to get the, the sheet pulled and show yeah, the actual like Jay production Leno out there. car. The Ford? Come on. Ford's blue ball on us. We got a blue oval. Now we got blue balls. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. That was a little shorter than I thought. I just thought it would be like a full unveiling, you know, with Jay Leno or just something or pulling the curtain off, kind of go over in the car, almost like what they did, Elon Musk did with the Cybertruck. But yeah, that was a lot better than I thought. Dude, the two, do the two door has my vote. That thing looked great. Big tires, the proportions looked awesome. It comes with tons of tech. It's really like the off-road vehicle. I mean, the Wrangler's gotta step up their game. I think that takes the number one spot. We gotta see what it actually does, but yeah. that, that looked like it was way, way better. The EcoBoost platforms are gonna be great. They're gonna have all the power that you need in something like that, where I think yeah. Jeep is starting to kind of get there with their new diesel and four-cylinder turbos and stuff like that, but still, that EcoBoost, maybe the absolute ticket what's cool too is like i think and don't quote me on this because i don't think they said it in the video was the base msrp i want to say it starts like at 30 grand yeah now when you start adding all this stuff on there you're going to start seeing the prices probably be 40, equally 40s probably yeah. more than that i think they'll be equally equipped to like a rubicon yeah. wrangler in like the yeah. mid 50s for what we see is like full blown off-road hoss uh, you know uh, all the different drive modes stuff like that all the tech but dude, I was pleasantly blown away. Like that's, that is really cool. Yeah. So let us know what you guys think in the comments below. We appreciate you guys watching. If, uh, if you guys like this content, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. We're stoked on the new Bronco. Um, I may very well have to see how long it'll take to get one in my garage. So we'll find out soon. Later guys. Thanks guys.